This god tier AI agent can now communicate on the fly with other AIs and in this video I'm going to break down how it works and what the future of AI to AI communication might look like. Alright, so a few weeks ago I posted about Deep Agent, a literal god tier agent that comes from Abacus AI, a long term partner of this channel. Now I showed you its web research, coding skills, etc. And all of that was pretty cool, but it was just using a predefined set of tools like pretty much all of the other AI agents are. You need to either manually add the MCPs or you need to actually list out and connect these tools yourself. However, now Deep Agent has added an AI to AI communication protocol that provides it with pretty much unlimited tools and makes it capable of discovering new tools and capabilities in real time. So in my opinion, this is pretty groundbreaking stuff. It's a huge advancement for AI agents. And what this means is that AI agents can now communicate with each other, but not just that, they can actually discover each other's existence. Anyways, let me show you a few use cases here so you can see what I mean. Then we'll dive into how all of this actually works. All right, so I'm on the computer now and I'm gonna give you a quick demo of what this can do. Now, Deep Agent is a part of the Chat LLM team subscription, which comes from Abacus AI, who I did partner with for this video and I have for many other videos on this channel. Now, in case you're wondering, the way that this works is that you can pay $10 per month. That gives you access to Chat LLM teams, which I'm going to show you in one second. And then from there, you're able to use Deep Agent. If you want to have more unrestricted access to Deep Agent and perform more tasks per month, then you can upgrade to the Pro subscription, which is another $10 per month, so $20 a month in total. Anyways, you can see a bunch of examples here of what Deep Agent can do, and obviously I'm going to show a few of them to you, and I'll put a video on screen that goes over this tool more in depth, because in this one I want to focus more on the AI to AI communication. So anyways, if I go over here, I'll just show you chat LLM teams. This is what it looks like. And it comes with this route LLM feature. Essentially, this gives you access to pretty much all of the top LLMs here. You can type something like, you know, hello world in the chat, and then it will automatically route your request to the appropriate LLM. So you can see in this case, it used Gemini 2.0 flash, but we could use any of these different LLMs. And this is interesting because you pay 10 bucks per month and get access to all of the different LLMs without having to pay a subscription for all of them. And to access Deep Agent, you just press the Deep Agent button down here. It is still in the beta, but it works pretty well. And if you go down here, you can see a bunch of the examples and kind of things that it's done. Now, one thing I also make you aware of is there is a competition that Deep Agent runs. So let me click on it right here. It actually runs every single week and you get a chance to win up to $2,500. So in case you're interested in that, then obviously you can enter and have a chance to win. Cool. So let me show you a few examples now of what this can do. I actually have a task running right now. So let me wait for that to finish and then I'll be right back. So I was just running a pretty complex task here where I was essentially getting Deep Agent to create a full application for me, a mobile app. You can see that it actually generated a demo with all of the code for me. We have a fully functioning kind of prototype here and we can actually click through and this works because it's actually coded. This is designed in React. You can see all of the code here. If you look at all of the files as well as I got it to make a bunch of wireframes for me and then what I'm doing now is I'm asking it can you create a page in my personal notion to summarize this application now right now deep agent doesn't know anything about notion it doesn't have access to these tools I haven't set up the MCP server I haven't given it any authorization tokens or anything so let's see what happens when I actually run this command ideally it should go search for that tool find the setup steps, see what's available, and then use it. Okay, so that's exactly what happened here. It searched, it found a Notion MCP server. So if we scroll here, you can see that it kind of gave us the instructions. And then it tells us that we need our Notion API token. So let me get that and I'll be right back. So I just put in the API key here and you can see that I submitted the form. And now what it's doing is it's connecting to Notion, coming up with the plan, and then it should hopefully make a new page for me or add the summary of this application to Notion. So you can see now the Deep Agent is discovering the different tools that the Notion MCP server has it's calling them testing it out if some of them fail it's doing another one and in a second here we should have that new content block now this is still running but if I go into my notion here this is actually the page that it's created and it's adding all of these content blocks to it so in live time I'm actually watching it add these new blocks which is pretty interesting and let's see it should wrap up here in a second and finish this up all right, and there we go, it just finished. You can see that it actually called a bunch of different tools here from Notion, added these different blocks. We can see actually exactly what it was doing here. And then if I go to Notion, this is the page that it created. So it has a bunch of information kind of summarizing uh, the app that we created, the next steps, the design system, et cetera. And this is just a simple example to demonstrate to you how this works. You can see it goes out, finds this tool, prompts me for the information that I need in order to actually use it connects to it, finds the tools, and then goes and actually uses it. 
I think that is super cool and I'm already thinking of a ton of things that you can do with this type of capability. But now I wanna talk about how this actually works and what this means for the future of AI to AI communication. All right, so now let's dive into how this actually works. Now for the first time ever, an AI agent can now roam the web autonomously to discover software services and tools that can complete pretty much any task that you give it. So imagine giving an AI a complex request and then watching it venture out into the web to find exactly the right tools for the job. So that's exactly what Deep Agent is doing now. When you present it with a challenge, it doesn't just work with the pre-programmed tools or rely on static integrations, right? Like if I make an agent, it just has the integrations that I provide it with. Instead, it actively searches the internet to find specialized software services that can handle this specific request. Now here's exactly how this process works. Deep Agent analyzes your task, it then begins to hunt across the web for compatible services. Now, once it discovers a service that matches your need, it connects to the MCP server for that service. So remember, model context protocol, it's still using that to communicate with the service, but it's actually finding the MCP server rather than relying on a human to manually set that up. Now, after that, it will request your credentials if you have credentials or need credentials for the MCP server, and then it will complete the task using this newly discovered tool. Now, this is cool, obviously, but what's pretty impressive is that after it actually finds this tool, it's going to save it into its knowledge base. So rather than it just forgetting about this and having to do it again, it's actually going to save all the information that it finds. So it's kind of actively learning the more that you use this AI. Now, the implications of this are interesting, so we can look at a few use cases. Now, Deep Agent had discovered mind mapping services and created a detailed visual diagram on the fly without any prior knowledge of these specific tools. It's also connected to Twitter to become an AI influencer, crafting and posting tweets autonomously after discovering the platform's capabilities in real time. Now in something like an enterprise setting, we've seen it discover both Notion and Slack independently and then connect them together to create a seamless workflow automation that would typically require a ton of development work. Now Deep Agent has even tapped into Salesforce after discovering it during a business intelligence request. It generated comprehensive reports with zero lines of code needed. It also performed complex operations on services that had never encountered before simply by discovering the services, researching them, learning about them, and then using them. Now, every interaction here is making this agent smarter and smarter, and this to me represents the future of AI software communication. So we're looking at millions of potential use cases here enabled simply through AI discovery and learning. AI agents can literally talk to any service on the web, transforming from a single AI assistant into more of like a conductor where it's orchestrating an entire symphony of digital tools and services. Now, the traditional model of AI assistants with fixed capabilities is still powerful, but this is taking it pretty much to a completely new level where we're now entering a stage where AI agents continuously get better, discover, and adapt to a changing landscape of web services. So that means that if a new tool comes out tomorrow, the AI agent can discover this tool and use it. It doesn't need the human intervention to tell it about it. It can just go and find anything that pops up. Now, it's not just using the internet as a source of information here. It's using it like an infinite toolkit, which I think is really interesting. All right, so that's the basics on how this works. Pretty much it's able to discover any new tool. If it has something like an MCP server, it can connect to that, grab your credentials if you need it, and then automatically call the tool. Now this works obviously with tools, but this also could work with other AI agents. So one AI agent could connect to another AI agent, and you can see that we can have this AI to AI communication going on, which I think is really interesting and why I made this video. Anyways, that's pretty much all I had for you. Let me know what you think of this and what this means for the future of AI agents going forward. With that said, I look forward to seeing you in another video.